Toledo. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. The Bobcats have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week in, as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Nice run up the middle. So they pick up the first down there. It's about a six-yard gain on the play. It's a nice option play here by the offense. Running back took the pitch and got a nice gain to move the chains. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. It's second and 11. Ball on their own 38. Scrambling around. Brought down at the 40-yard line. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. And he's taken down around the 50. It's second and 12. Ball on the 50-yard line. Here we go. Blue and hot. And he is drilled at the 43-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. There's a strike complete, and they make the stop at the 46. It was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Steps out of bounds around the 30-yard line. And he shoved out of bounds around the 41-yard line. Fires it out. He's taken down right around the 46-yard line. That brings him second and five. Nice play fake. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. Makes the catch, and look out. And he's tackled at the 18. I'm a huge fan of the play-action pass in college football because the play-action it really puts a lot of pressure on a defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game, and it puts them out of position. 
and it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and a receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw there. He scrambles there for about eight yards. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's on the run. Tackle made at the one yard line. Flushed out and he's going to get sacked. That is a loss of six on the play. That brings him second and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. The ball's on the six-yard line, and we've got third and goal. quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Toledo to kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Rockets are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Nice run to the left there. Good for a six yards. That'll make it second and four. Mike 34, Mike 34. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of five on one play. First down. Hey, check Mike 34. Mike 34. Thunder! Thunder! And now he's got room to run. Gain of one on one play. He fights forward to around midfield. And down he goes at about the 47 yard line. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. He goes out of bounds around the 49 yard line. That's good work, Dean. Four yards. That'll bring up fourth and five. This punt, if he gets it where he wants it, can really change the field position of this football game. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Touchdown. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Toledo has a three-point lead. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. That's going to do it for the first quarter. We got a good one so far. 3 nothing. Rockets. That makes it second and two. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Tight right, tight right. Check the outs out there. Four down, four down. Mike 38, Mike 
That's a great tackle. The 37 yard line. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. He scrambled. He's got the corner. Brought down at the 32. That's a game of 10. That'll make it 31. And he's level at the 24 yard line. Toledo is up a field goal. Gets out to around the 12. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. And he adds the extra point. An eight play, 79 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. He fights forward to about the 40. Tackled after a decent pickup. He's into the open field. Makes it to the 47. On the run. Runs outside for a nice game. And they push him out at the 31 yard line. Gaining 12 on the play. First down. From the 31 yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Here's the eighth play of the series. He steps out at the 33.
You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make the play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. And he nails a long field goal. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Toledo is up seven. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. And he hits him hard at the 41. Tack on any yardage. Now, I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. 10-19. He fights forward to about the 49. He makes it out to midfield. Brings him down. Gain of one yard. That'll bring up fourth and one. Credit here needs to go to the offensive line. They did a great job of opening up a running lane for the back. Five wide. Quick out to his receiver. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. It's it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down right around the 30. Toledo is up a score. He's got it with room to run. He's out of bounds at the 26. Tenth play of the drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. Drop back four yards on that one. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Toledo can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. The kick is up, and it's good!
Certainly not what we expected as we head to halftime. The Rockets with a 10-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it at harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. You got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. Are they stinky? Yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. And it's caught, and he's run down quickly. Make the stop at the 39. That makes it first and ten. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. Taken down the 47 yard line. And he's tackled around the 48 yard line. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 48 yard line. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Number eight was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and 11. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. They'll bring him down at the 40. Fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. It's up, looks long enough, and he missed it off the upright. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Thunder! 
Gets it out quickly. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Gain of 12 yards. First down. Mike 34. Mike 34. Gets to about the 37 yard line. Good outside run there. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense and their psyche. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. Nice run to the outside. And he keeps it on the option play and picks up six. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive, attack, do some things to change it up, take some risks. That makes it first and goal. And down he goes, right around the eight-yard line. Quick shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. And this is the 12th play of the drive. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday. They'll call on the field goal unit here. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It's up, and they tack on three points. got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So we're just about ready to return to action. Toledo is up by a touchdown. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start, offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great Still way to stall out a drive. First and 15 now after the penalty. Mike 38, Mike 38. Hey, check, 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 check. Caught out of the open. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 40. Throws this one away. Second and ten. Ball on their own 40. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down. Right around the 48-yard line. at the 40. Tackle at the 34-yard line. Might have been some early movement up front. False start. Offense. 
Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost him five yards. Still, Still first, first down. down. So the penalty will make it first and 15. Steps up into the pocket and they've got it. That is a loss of six on the play. That'll make it second and long. Toledo, up seven points. Set, Oklahoma! He lets it fly. In and out of his hands. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. Quick throw. He's tackled at the 18-yard line. Complete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 18. The 10. Got him for a loss. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That brings him second and goal. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Seven tight. Four down, four down. Mike 38, Mike 38. Set, 38. 10 Boston. 10 Boston. Brilliant work by both defenses through three quarters of play. Who can open it up in the fourth quarter? Whoever does has got a great chance to win. Toledo's lead is a touchdown. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Toledo is up seven. Now he tries to buy some time. He's going to pick up less than a yard on the quarterback scramble. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks up, and it is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. Only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. He makes his way out to about the 35. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. He's at midfield. He goes down at the 39. Are you kidding me? Boy, great run, and I'll tell you, this guy has the ability to outrun most of the guys on this field. He's on the run. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. That's a game of 13 on the ball. First down. Mike 34, Mike 34. Runs outside for a nice game. 
That'll make it second and four. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and he is drilled at the 14-yard line. Number 34 on the tackle at the 14-yard line. First down. And he's level at the 13. The halfback picks up a yard. From the 13-yard line, it's second down. Run it, easy, easy, easy. Lock in. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. Just under three to go in regulation. Almost intercepted. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. Big decision here for the offense. It's fourth and goal from the two-yard line. And he's taken down right around the two-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They're packed in tight on the line. There's a play fake. Plenty of time in the pocket. Shakes off a tackle. And they make the stop at the 36-yard line. It's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. He might have a chance. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. He makes his way to about the 45. A gain of eight on the carry. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They give it to him again, and he's going to lose yardage. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. Just under two minutes in the game. Tackled after a decent pickup. The defense has got to do a better job of being more aggressive. You know, this offense doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry. They're working the clock. You know the chances are they're going to run the football. That allows the defense to pin their ears back and get aggressive. It really comes down to the defensive linemen holding up against the offensive line and the linebackers and safeties crashing downhill and making plays against the run game. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Mark 38! Mark 38! Mark 38! Down! Oklahoma! Hey, hey. Run, run, run. It's the tailback. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Here's the eighth play of the series. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 16-6, Toledo. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Curve Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.